Adam Living Quarter three horse gooseneck trailer here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, looking at the profile of this, I'd estimate it's at least seven six tall. I don't think it's quite eight tall, but it is definitely taller than standard. Um, almost eight foot wide, judging by the fenders, I'd guess about seven nine wide. So it is taller, it is wider, it's good for bigger horses, and that extra space means a little more room for you in the living quarters. Um, the uh, extra space also means you have mangers, and as a result, we have outdoor uh, tack areas right here on the uh, driver's side. Now notice that all three stalls, even the escape door, have drop down feed windows. That escape door feed window is not a common thing, um, especially not when this was built. Uh, the uh, roof rack up here you see can hold quite a bit of hay, so this has a very heavily reinforced roof. We're looking at big tires that are in good shape. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about replacing tires right away by any stretch of the imagination. Um, this is a pair of swinging barn doors, no ramp. I've seen uh, everyone always has that one horse that they know of that wouldn't go up a ramp or wouldn't back down a step. I think it's just kind of uh, it's it's an issue of trust between horse and rider has always kind of been my experience. And there's always you're going to have a unique personality in, in horses and that's kind of the fun part about them. But, Generally, uh, I, I think it's more of a personal preference. Um, cool thing here is this is a 60-40 split. You see the, the horse entrance is a little bit bigger than the tack closet, and that's so that you can stay a little bit closer to beside your animals when you're loading. A little safer that way. Three-place saddle tree, common bridle racks and blanket bars and all the normal stuff, but this is all aluminum and fully removable. Actually, the entire uh, trailer is all aluminum frame and skin and everything, so this is definitely made to last. I mean, if you look at the cross members up here in the roof and the welding job that they do, it's something that you can almost appreciate better in person. This thing, uh, I'd be willing to bet, I hope you never test this theory, but if you flip this trailer upside down, I'd be willing to bet it would hold its shape and give your animals a very good fighting chance of getting out of this thing uh, unharmed. I like the, the stud curtain there, just in case you got a little lightning in a bottle and you got one that's a bit wild. Um, this does telescope so you can cut this thing in different angles and ways if you need to. Um, you also notice just the, the nice finer touches here. Like they do put uh, a little trim enclosure on top of the kick plate wall. And that's so that the horses can't rub on it and get a sore spot. But notice that your pads aren't chewed up. You did not have a wild horse in here that was just bucking and snorting and tearing this thing apart. Um, as we walk up through into the back of the living quarter, you walk right into the bathroom. You're greeted by the full standing shower here. Now, uh, you do have some nicer light fixtures throughout this coach, these little recessed bulbs. And you do here in the bathroom have the big, uh, like, Max Air, Create a Breeze, Fantastic Fan, whatever word you like to apply to it. There's several different brands out there that all generally accomplish the same thing. Lots of airflow in an energy efficient 12 volt manner, so you can use it when you don't have shore power to plug into. I do like the bigger sink space here. That's nice to have some extra counter space. Um, up here in the living quarter, you see that we do have air conditioning, we do have heat, uh, so that it's you know this would be a, a good comfortable coach pretty much any time. The uh, sofa here, it does have a little uh, table with some pedestal legs that can uh, install right here, so you can have a little makeshift dinette. The uh, sofa can be used as a sleeper if you need, and man, all of your woodwork in here is just all hardwood and very very nice. Um, extra deep cabinetry and tall cabinetry too, that's a bonus. That's one of the extra nice things about having a coach that's a little bit taller is you can afford some bigger storage like that. Obviously, a very big aftermarket mattress in here, so not the normal, uh, you know, cowboy cramped neck when you wake up, uh, you know, after sleeping in your living quarter trailer. And again, extra drawers and cabinet space all over the place here in the kitchen area. Now, I put these videos together to show you the good with the bad. It's so minor, I can't even demonstrate it here in the video, but roughly from here to here, there's a small little semicircle spot that is a, a little bit soft on that floor. But I mean, watch. It's, it's not major, but remember that we're telling you these things. Before you even met us, we're going out of our way to show you all the positives as well as the flaws with the things that you're looking to take home. So remember that we're fair people. We ask a fair price to prop that you know represents the coach as it's in its current condition today. Give us a call, learn even more. 800-256-5196. Haylitz Horse Trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. We do trades, financing. We even, uh, you know, if you have a, an RV, a car, you want to trade in on this horse trailer, we do all that.
give us a call. It's fun and easy. See you guys.